favor. This is one more. Pero, uh, this is a, this this part right here is actually gonna be uh, a separate episode alone, uh, more so. Oh damn, dude! Uh, so you guys, yeah. what you got? What you got? No, I. I so uh, we're done with the soccer part already, and as you know, I don't know. If you guys got to get a chance to to listen to uh, close to the end of the episode. Coke um, made an announcement. Okay, the floor is yours. It was a difficult call to make, man. It was a bittersweet moment for me, but uh, I, I let Richie and, you know, I've let Michelle know that um, this is going to be my last episode with Otra Por Favor. Um, it was a difficult decision, uh, but one that I needed to make just to refocus on things that are important to me and that are that I feel that I, that I need to just, like, really... Uh, spend more time and energy towards one of them being a family, my wife, and secondly, my career. Um, there's a lot of changes mm -hmm. uh, happening right now economically. And, and, and you look at, well, I personally look at the, the future and it's just, I need this. It's kind of a moment of honesty in myself. Like, Hey, um, I, I love doing this. This is a, this is a great hobby of mine. And I, what Richie has created, this this platform, what Michelle has has brought forward, um, has been amazing, and I'm just super honored to have been a part of that. But it it came to a point where, all right, I gave I gave it a good run, and I gave it as much of me as I could, but I want to leave on a good note, versus stretching myself too thin and not performing well at anything, if that makes sense. If you're listening to Gordon Redes, this is going to be nuts. <laughs> sorry, sorry for, you know me. I, I, definitely I'm the Ronnie Redes of this podcast. No, no, no. No, no. no. <laughs> no I was going to say, that's beautifully sad for an yeah. exit interview. <laughs> yeah, no, <right? laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was wondering, like, what the hell I was going to say. I'm really oh. bad at, like, prepared statements or anything like that. I, I didn't have anything prepared. I didn't have any notes or anything. This is really off the top of the dome. But, um yeah man like I, I was camping uh last weekend with mm -hmm. with uh my my in-laws beautiful time i was out in nature and i realized like that's when i'm like happiest when i'm kind of far away from like notifications and constant bombardment of information because mm -hmm. right now career-wise it, it it is difficult maybe it's the stage of the project i'm in mm -hmm. um and all that stuff comes in waves but looking at it in the long term in the future like family i see that in the future for me i'm not talking just dogs richie i'm talking like actual little human yeah. beings uh, <laughs> hey, i told them my plan is to ever have a kid to monetize it and write a contract whoever it says get a baby i'm gonna be like you sign it and then give me a thousand dollars a month and i'll get the baby subsidizing a, subsidizing a, monetizing a, the an offspring is, there is, is definitely one way to do it <laughs> but yeah man really um I'm the type of guy that always tries to, you know, improve on what I am and what I do and how I do it. So this is kind of a, a way to do it, but that I've had to, instead of like pushing forward and like just, you know, stretching, I'm pulling back and allowing myself to grow that way. So Richie, I appreciate your, you know, understanding and um, dude, most I have so many beautiful memories in this podcast. We've had a lot of deep conversations, mm -hmm. <laughs> Michelle. And, Thank and, you, Michelle. In, in, in your in your short time here, I think that um, you've brought a different dimension to the podcast that that has to be recognized, and that that you have just enriched it so much with your perspective and knowledge, and just your vulnerability, opening mm -hmm. up about things that you have. That I think it's something that me and Richie um, might have touched on a bit, but with a lot more like <laughs> a lot more joking yeah. and uh which is you know good but but you brought you brought a different dimension to this podcast man and just hearing what the type of energy that y'all have y'all don't know how much work these people put in to like making this show 
uh, as as like elaborate as it is, is bringing bringing the right guests and you know getting research, uh, being informed on the topics that they talk about. You know, doing the work outside, not just this podcast. You know, going in the community, asking mm-hmm. the questions in the media conferences, uh, talking to sources. All this extra work that that I just look back and I admire because I was definitely not at the point that I that I was doing that. Yeah. But, uh, True that. No, it's, <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. But but it, n- needless to say, it's been an incredible experience, and uh, I hope I really appreciate everyone that that has has given me feedback, positive, negative, constructive, whatever, um, and has just listened to the shit that comes out of my mouth because. Sometimes I'm like, why would anybody listen to what the fuck I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, at the same time, it, it is nice. We're talking about the game we love and what brings us together, what unites us, and you know, our different opinions and thoughts and aspects of it. And we've talked about that was just a tip of the iceberg. We talked about so much more. So, mm-hmm. oh. I mean, yeah, man. Thank, thank both of y'all. Well, I'm proud of you for taking the initiative to make that decision because I know, like you said, it wasn't an easy one. And no, I would much no, rather definitely. you. Be happy. Take care of your mental health mm. because yeah. you know. Yeah. At the end of the day, what makes you happy is your family, the love, the love that your loved ones give you. For sure. Um, you know, podcasting, media. It's not easy. It, it really does take a toll. Um, and that goes hand in hand. I mean, you are foreign to that. You have a sister who's also in journalism, and mm-hmm. that's also part of media. Yeah. Um, no, I, so. I have a new respect for media. Uh. It's just, just, just being in like a periphery part of it in, yeah. in, in a in a podcast, definitely for sure. And it, uh, in this day and age, it's just crazy because social media works great, like so fast. It's yeah. a, it's a very fast turnaround, and so right, you always have to be on, 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 and and you hate that. And yeah, yeah, to be on constantly um, is difficult because I have to be on for uh, for work, work, right? So to be on also for yes. for media, it was just like. If there were two of me, probably, but if there's only one of me, so like. But you're also it, 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 young. You're trying to also yeah. figure out your love life. You, you're you thinking about the future. Yeah, and yeah. This is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no, definitely like, you know, my priority. I have I have a soulmate in Madison. Yeah. You know, she's everything to me. That's so what matters. Just keeping that straight keeps everything else straight for me. Mm-hmm. So like it just took a little bit of honesty, too, and like realizing like I'm not that I'm not that dude that that is you know, thriving on social media. Mm-hmm. It's just something that I've kind of spoken, uh, like why I'm not for it, what I think about it. But I know that it's necessary in order to keep something like Oda Por Favor thriving. So that mm-hmm. was kind of like one crux, one one issue that like created a wedge within me. And that kind of made me think of like refocusing and recalibrating like everything else apart from that. Mm-hmm. But, but you also brought a lot to the table. So definitely yeah. don't cut yourself. Oh, yeah. Sure. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you, I appreciate you, you, uh, Richie, that was one of the smartest thing to do was to bring you on. Oh, man. Hey, hey. Hey. Okay, I appreciate y'all. Okay. Man. I appreciate y'all. No, I, uh, I think, I mean, we talked about like, you know, potentially beginning of the year. Um, so, for me, it's always been, you know, like this was create. I wanted to create this with friends, but sometimes when when you have something grows, you know, s- sometimes it requires more work or requires changes, or changes that happen, you know, personally. So I always took it as like at the end of the day, like it's Koke who has to be, you know, like in his mindset, Koke has to be doing what Koke wants to do, whether, you know, like how Koke can thrive, whether it's, you know, like here or out there. But at the end of the day, like it's Koke's most important thing. And what really it's important to him, you know, like your 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 family, um, your job and then anything like any any plans you have in the future. But it it's always um it's one it's always one of those that like say for example, uh it's 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 a it's, it's a cool thing because I got to it started this with with friends definitely and, yes and, and i'm not saying like oh it's gonna end not my last friend no because the one thing is like i've been able to make more friends you know michelle being here on the table now yeah and and um and it's your honesty like to me from the beginning was you know appreciative and the time you, you, know, you called me if i i took it as like dude it's all good bro like yeah, I'm. I'm think. I'm glad that you're taking a step for yourself, right? And taking a step for you and doing your thing because, 
what really matters is you. What really matters is, you know, Koke doing well. And everything, yeah. if Koke's doing well, everything's going to be at it. <laughs> no, man, I, you, you've given us a, an incredible gift here with what you created. I think, uh, Michelle, you, you, you work in the media. You have a lot of experience, like, putting yourself out there and creating, whether it be written articles or, or, or video or audio pieces that, that, that last forever. You know, they're there. It's a record. But what's unique about this space is that uh, those sound bites, those, um, that video, that piece, whatever you had to say, whether it was soccer or life or culture related, that's a timestamp in that moment that's forever there that is 100% you and that it lasts forever. Like, that's just how the internet works nowadays. So you giving me that gift uh, and you giving us that gift um, that potentially, you know, decades down the, down the road, mm -hmm. people that, you know, are related to you can see this or that know you can see this and say, damn, that's how Koke, Michelle and Richie were in 2023 that, there'll be a study that's forever oh, <laughs> that's forever <laughs> and i mean sometimes it's cringy to look at yourself I like know. i'm i'm the worst at like listening to myself yeah. over but i know that five ten years down the road i'm gonna appreciate this a lot more um just knowing that i had the opportunity to speak my mind and and express myself and like like we've said before mm -hmm. what people want at the end of the day is just uh they want to be heard mm -hmm. they want to be understood um, and they want to just speak their mind, speak their heart. And you created that with this uh, platform in Otra Por Favor. Yeah. And like the goal has always been to not have the la primicia or la exclusiva. It's just to, you know what, let's take a step back. Yeah. Talk about it's there. Pero yeah. Tranquilos, tranquilos. <laughs> Porque si estoy peleándome por los sources, o me estoy peleando porque este cabrón, he didn't, I mean, I joke like we little didn't tag us, but I'm just joking, you know. Yeah. It was just literally like for me, my goal is, you know, like just uh, and what we did, at, you know, after soccer at Bailey is just something that we brought it to the, you know, a small, just a small like percentage of the awesomeness that we got in a group of friends that we have, you know, Ernie, David, Gozi, um, este, Maddie. It's just friends that they like say, for example, is there, you know, I can like the way I look at it is like, Oh, there, I'm not Richie from Otra Forward. I'm Richie, you know, right. trying to struggle, trying to play soccer. Because, you know, if I'm not in shape, they'll they'll kick my ass. <laughs> um, but no, it's like for me, Coke, like you've been a person that has pushed me in every aspect. Like, you know, as a good person, as a, as a great person. Um, also, you like say physically, you know, you, it's like, okay, if Coke can wake up at five in the morning to go train. I have to do my shit. <laughs> like, like, and then stuff like that, like if you look at it like subconsciously, when we talk about like training, when we talk about life, that that helps because little by little, you know, you you build foundation on friendships because, you know, after this, we're not going to stop being friends. Like, ah, yeah, I'm going to block you. No, you know, <laughs> that's not the case. But it's just more like, say, for example, we got to, to you know, to work in an environment that we've never worked in an environment before, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and it was it was it was cool because we got to experience so many conversations with people from different walks in in life, uh, and I think that that I I think I hope that everyone that you know gets the chance to listen to the episodes understand that like we did it just because you know we're the two friends that you know that just want to put a a, a storyline out there, yeah. something amazing out there, um, yeah. different than you know what we currently have. And somehow find a way to slow things down from the crazy day. Like, yeah. you know, sometimes like in the background, you might be like rushing in the information or trying to get outline done. But the goal is once you listen to this to be the, the lightest possible, like do the simplest possible. Yeah. Just think about how many conversations you have during the day or in a week. Exactly. Yeah. How many of those conversations are, are like real sincere honest conversations where you're giving someone the time and you're actively listening and they're actively listening to you i would say that's kind of the rare case because most of our day-to-day -day transactions in the, yeah. in the markets that we work in are so react like just go 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 in go Chinga, yeah so the fact that we slow it down here and give people the space to open up literally about anything and everything 
<laughs> and the background is a completely different story. <laughs> yeah, it's special. And I think it's worth being celebrated yeah. because you look at the landscape of the internet, uh, especially, um, you know, different shows and, and like social, social medias in particular that are like 15, 20 second based. It doesn't have that. It just has little snippets meant to make you react some way emotionally mm -hmm. and, and get angry or, or laugh. One of the two, get angry or laugh. Uh, but few times does it really go deep dive because that, that's harder to do. It takes time mm -hmm. and it takes patience and it takes, uh, you know, just your willingness to shut up and listen. And take it in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people always get at me at like, uh, I, I say people, I say sometimes people make the comment that I'm not, I don't talk as much. <laughs> but really, it's because. It's because I can dormido. <laughs> no, really, it could, yeah, it could be I fall asleep. <laughs> but, it, but it's also that I, I, I like to take everything in yep. and then uh, really think about what I want to say because w I don't want to talk just to fill the air and the space. Some people are uncomfortable with silence. I'm not as much. I, I prefer silence, honestly, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. uh, but also... <laughs> You're making my dad. <laughs> Are you <laughs> said, But yeah, close. yeah. So, there's some that. days I prefer <laughs> silence. Some days I prefer sound and talking. Um, I I love my wife for having the patience to deal with all the shit that I have. Oh, <laughs> You're unique. But, uh, but, it, but, but it's, it's true, you know, like... Yeah. That I like to take my time, listen, and, and really think about what I got to say versus reacting and, and saying something quickly, which is something that, uh, that you know, certain people thrive off of. But I felt that this experience has pushed me into those, like, uncomfortable situations, whether it be doing a, a, a complete uh, episode in Spanish or, you know, talk, being at a table with Jorge Turralde, someone mm. who you got to be on your pushes toes. Your and, and he pushes you. Like, we haven't even started. He's like... Pero que que sí, sí. All right, we haven't even started, so I'm already like, all right, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to go in. I'm going. Yeah. The funniest thing, bro, is like whenever somebody says something funny, because you're so like into like sinking it in and someone says a joke, your delay of the reaction to the joke. That was like the, the funniest thing, like especially in the last one we called here to rally, you were like this. Everybody was done laughing. <laughs> <laughs> He was dude. processing. Dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> I was cracking him, I I was cracking him so hard. <laughs> Richie, you probably know me better than than most people just because yeah. you've seen so much audio and video of me. Like, you're like, this is what this motherfucker was thinking about at this moment. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or probably turn over like, okay, how does that joke go? <laughs> or or like, should I say a comeback or nah? But it's funny because like... Coca Humor like is this. hard for me in Spanish, man. It's It takes time. <laughs> I mean, it takes time. And then that little like... <laughs> Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Um, I just had deja vu. Sorry. Deja vu. Mm -hmm. Ooh, about. When I don't know. I just table? like no, just like here talking oh, yeah. about. I don't know. I just had yes. deja vu. That's weird. <laughs> see, okay, see, hey, the 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 left side of the table does that. <laughs> 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 hey, so you see, that's uh, there's some energy over here. Right? <laughs> there, there we go. You know what? <laughs> weird deja vu. Why? What happened? What what's wrong on this side? No, there's nothing that's wrong. I used to sit. But that's like the. the <laughs> yeah, no, pero pero like you're saying that there's weird energy what happened before? no no not be, not 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 like not of a weird energy but more like uh like the you know the coca energy mas, yeah the, the coca energy the like coca that energy. like that uh you know like you let it sink in yeah. or, you know anything like thoughts like any thoughts are going like I you let them process yeah <laughs> like you know it really you know. does feel sad <laughs> um now a oh, question for you is what is something you learned from the podcasting world? Embracing uh, the uncomfortable situations, like I, like I was talking about earlier, just putting yourself out there with what you, like who you reach out to, um, the way you reach out to them, and just the way you formulate a conversation to, um, sometimes it's uncomfortable to start a conversation, especially with someone that you don't know as well, or that you feel their their energy that is not necessarily ready to uh, open up in a platform like this. Mm -hmm. We've had situations where, um, just based through our own you know learning as we go process, that we've had uh, technical difficulties. We've had moments where the guest arrives super early or super late. Um, it's just kind of rolling with the punches, and 
and being able to make people feel uh, comfortable and, yeah. and wanting to open up, um, that's something that I've learned through this podcast. Yeah, that's good. That's a good way to think about it. I actually kind of have like I had the same similar thought. That's why we're like this, because I was thinking sometimes we um, start an, a conversation with a person that we just met like not even a minute ago outside right. saying hi and we're like okay all right so tell me uh tell me more about you so literally we're getting to know them as they talk but, but again that's the awesome part of you know like it's an art table. form dude it's an, it's an art form because yeah. you, you know i love the way we've kind of transformed into this like we're going to start this organically we're just going to talk and then it and then you introduce a, the podcast that to me is like a beautiful way to start uh, a conversation because We've noticed in the past that when we just start, hey, this is otra por favor, blah, 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 like just go straight into and it. Guess we'll be like Sometimes, like, <laughs> it like people tense up, you know? Yeah. And it, it, even speaking for myself, like, I've done this like 50 episodes. I'm like, oh shit, all right, here we go. Um, <laughs> but, you know, do, doing it in the way that's more organic, I think, is more uh, closer to what true conversation is. It's not really formulated in like bullet points. And, right. Like, this is what I'm going to ask you at this moment. Um, it just, you just go with the flow. And usually, that to me has made the best episodes. Mm. Appreciate it, cool. brother. Cool. Yeah, it's definitely a different platform. It's an art of storytelling, right? So, the art of storytelling, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's different. People open up. You're mm -hmm. not on camera. You don't, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a camera, but yeah. you're not like, okay, ready? One, two, three, yeah. go. So, how do you feel? You know, and you kind of like tense up and you're like, I no sé qué decir, o lo digo, yeah. lo dije bien, lo dije mal. It's just kind of like, just go. Yeah, to it me, doesn't matter how th you talk. This feels like like home. Like this feels like a, I'm in my living room yeah. talking to talking to my best friends. Yeah, have and and as as opposed to to when when I'm on Iturralde's uh, set, mm. it's like a set. That thing is a set, and you know, it it feels different than yeah. being here. And what I'm trying to get at is like, yeah, just you know, making people feel uh, just comfortable and like willing to open up. That that is one thing. Like I've been thinking about like the next step in regards to how it's gonna look right because i feel like if you keep it one shot like the way we're doing it right now it feels more natural than like having a camera switch because now you can see the reaction of the persons in the table without having to like oh switch it there switch it there look at them look at them it's more like you're just you're gonna see the reaction when yeah. they talk like yeah and that's what i'll be like thinking like man like but I, I love the double take. Honestly. But the double take is it's I do. pretty For cool. For broadcast, yeah. it works. Yeah. yeah it, it has yeah. to work. Well, yeah, you can't just have one. It, yeah, of course. You know, yeah. Obviously, to, if you don't have cameras, right? It seems to enforce uh, the story a yeah. little bit more with like emotion, emotion and reactions, yeah. create like that focus. Yeah. And, whereas, like this, it's really hard to tell sometimes. Like, you know, yeah, you get the whole pan, but like you don't get the in, the person. The in person, yeah. deep, deepness to it. But I don't know. Like Michelle was saying, like we, we work in the art of storytelling, whether you know we know it or not. And certain tools, certain methods lend themselves to tell a story a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been cool to continue to look at that and see how we can get stories out there a little bit more colorful, a little bit more with sound with sound bites, with photos that you take, you know, mm -hmm. with with uh you know, compositions that you've put together as far as reels and, and, and kind of descriptions of things. Like, we're all working our way to try to tell a story. Touche, touche. I think that's a whole goal in this podcast is to tell stories about football, I mean, life. The stories outlive us. They outlive us. That's true. We're, we're, we're right. here for a moment, but the stories stay forever. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Another question that I have is, what is something you take with you from this past year and four or five months? Something that I take with me? Yeah. I think it's just coming in here weekend, week by week and, and just really catching up, man. Really kind of having, it's different when we see each other at Q2 or we see each other on the soccer field. Just like, hey, how are you? Oh, good. Let's play or let's watch this game. Yeah. But here it's different. It's it's really like, hey, how are you doing? Mm. Like deep down inside. And 
you can you can notice it with like the type of energy. Sometimes I bring a certain energy to the podcast, and it's not always consistent. Like sometimes it's, you know I'm having a, I'm having a rough patch. Like right now I feel kind of in that in that rough patch. Mm -hmm. um, but I take with me the sense of hey, it's gonna be all right because mm -hmm. you guys, both of y'all have given me uh, just that tranquility because y'all have no idea how how shit of a day it was today for me at at work, but. The moment I walked in and greeted y'all, and like as we've gone through this podcast, I feel like a thousand times better. Mm. It's very therapeutic, mm -hmm. mm. Um, and it's very just. It, it lets me know that things are gonna be all right. So that's that's what I take with me, man. I know it's kind of selfish, but I mean, that's what it is. It's your take. It's my take, dude. <laughs> that's because we have positive vibes. Yeah. Like, that's true. like hey, like we we all go through humps and bumps in the road yeah. and in life, but como decía. Ahí mi gente, no, no te agüites, no es para que te agüites, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, it's you're going to, you know, that's why you surround yourself with those good people. Um, and, and I'm very hesitant to open myself actually up to people. I mm -hmm. mean, I had talked to Richie before mm -hmm. I had been on the podcast, but it was more of like, hey, hi, bye. I'm yeah, very, yeah. I'm very closed. I just don't like people in my business. Right. You know, I'm just, I'm a very private person. And, mm -hmm. you know, working in media, a lot of things can be said. And yeah. people just love to make stuff up. So I always, I always like to keep my circle very, very close. I noticed, uh, like, a difference in your demeanor uh, when you came as, like, a guest earlier to when you came more as a recurring guest and yeah. I wonder if that was more just because you got to know us a little bit more or you were just at a different point um, personally. I think it was a combination of both, right? Yeah. And, you know, not really holding like, okay, I'm represented because, you know, I represent Telemundo and, I, you know, mm -hmm. I'm talking to these professionals and I have a reputation to keep, right, yeah. to a certain extent. So Jorge would say, oh, you're so you're so polite and i'm like no it's just you know it's just the way i want to be portrayed if you mm -hmm. want to be portrayed a certain way great but yeah it's the way because there's just there's inequalities mm -hmm. when he's no offense older yeah. and a man right, and i say it for you tell him bitch viejo jorge yeah <laughs> But, and you know, and it, so it was just a professional. Right? Siempre desde yeah. chiquita dicen profesional o, o no. O sea, mm. you know, your your stuff. Yeah. No one wants to learn. No, your dirty laundry at home or, or mm -hmm. anything. But yeah, I mean, you know, being able to kind of bring that positivity back to you and opening up a little bit more that I don't feel so trapped. I think definitely has helped evolved the friendship between both of you guys. But oh, yeah. that's sweet. Thank you, thank you. One of my favorite movies is uh, The Mask by Jim Carrey. Mm. <laughs> so That's a good one. Hor like, it's very corny, very cheesy. Yeah. I just rewatched it recently, and I'm like, I can't, oh, my gosh. It's pretty corny. But, um, yeah, if y'all remember The Mask, like, he puts a mask on, and he turns into, yeah, like, this yeah. alter ego. But yeah. they have that professor that wrote that book, and he's like, we all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. Mm -hmm. um, and it kind of made me think of what you were saying. Like, you work for Telemundo. You have, like, this polished... Right. image and like this rapport that you have to keep up with who you speak to especially in front of the camera in front of a mic mm. whereas jorge has this a different mask right. a different image that he right. tries to keep up which richie and i have kind of talked about it like off 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 screen off record like people uh like are quick to jump on jorge and say like he's bad news but like i, I don't think that i think he th this is he, 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 he's creating a platform and he understands what he's doing. Like he's doing this for a reason. Like he knows that we all, whether we like it or not, football is entertainment. We're going to pay attention. We work in entertainment. This is yeah. entertainment. People listen to this podcast to be entertained. So yeah. like his method of storytelling of entertainment is very signature. His. It's editorial, as you would say. Editorial. There you go. So like you don't have to agree with it, mm -mm. but Try to understand it. Like, understand where, like, this is why he does it. I don't have to agree with it, and that's okay. Right. And, and, you know, he's one of my, he was one of the first people besides Arch that I became very friendly with. Mm -hmm. 
because they're actually really nice. Well, Arch is, I don't know, he's like God sent. He's just the, the I, pan de Dios. he really angel. is. I just, An angel I among just us love there. Arch. I just like, he's, I could be like, we're anti Itaralde. But Jorge, you know, off screen, off everything, he's just like one of the kindest yeah. people. Oh, for sure. Oh my yeah. God. I felt that and too. And so I, yeah. the, all the hate that he gets, sometimes I feel bad. But I think it's unwarranted. He, but he, but he, he, but can he take makes it. it. He yeah. likes it. That's he's got big, <laughs> he's he, got big he shoulders. He's got big shoulders. Like that, there's one person that like, and, and, like say even from Wolf también, de que he's in the press conference, pero it's like a love hate relationship they both have. Oh yeah, and and it's it, it's gonna go down for ages. <laughs> Someone is gonna write a book or do a documentary yeah. of of the love hate relationship between Josh Wolf <laughs> and Iturralde. I, Just because they both like like say I feel like Josh Wolf will feel empty if Jorge wasn't in there. It just made me think of something like I, I saw this interview with Christian Bale mm -hmm. talking about Batman, the uh, Batman Returns mm -hmm. with um, the Joker and uh, played by Heath Ledger. Dark Knight. And, yeah, the Dark Knight. Mm -hmm. That's God the one. Damn. Um, that. And one of the things he was saying is that when he was like doing his doing the like the recording of the movie or whatever, he really struggled to uh, keep the Batman on par with uh with the Joker, because the Joker was so much of a better character. Mm. And the way Heath Ledger played him was fucking amazing. It was almost like the Joker is the main character in that movie. Yeah. yeah. And Batman is like struggling to keep up. So I don't know, it just reminded me of the of the Jorge and Josh Wolf dynamic. In this case, Josh Wolf being Batman yeah. and, and Jorge <laughs> being the Joker. <laughs> but it's just like what Jorge is creating. No, and I'm not trying to like throw him, you know, flowers because he's a, a friend of mine. But what he's creating, like, in a sense, is some type of art that you have to know how to do it correctly. Yeah. If not, you're just going to be dude looking stupid every time, yeah. saying dumb shit, but not really back. Because at the end of the day, whenever what he says is actually brings stuff to light for conversation yep. more than, like, shit throwing. I mean, the joking is there, you know, everything he does, there is that humor in it. But there's some information behind it, like, why is he doing it? Right. And and uh, it it's every time I, I I I listen to every episode of like there's one of like you know I try to consume more more uh, like local stuff and his is just one of the ones that as soon as it comes out I'm working on Saturday Monday night and I'm listening to it but it just you know it, it's it's something like like you need and then if you look at it people that go like they're not fighting I mean or in the table they'll probably be you know going back and forth but no no terminan peleándose right right right. Maybe there was one they're like, Jorge, you went a little too overboard with mm. that guest. But at the end of the day, I mean, he's he's a like a dude that like say, I'm glad he's around because it would be boring if, if he right. wasn't around. Because he's he would, opening a dialogue. Who's not who's not, he's asking the right questions. To question yeah, he's being skeptical about everything and all that. Yeah. But anyways, enough about Jorge. Back to you. Yeah. <laughs> the, this Jorge. Um, <laughs> but nah, dude. And then, then like, uh, if there's one thing that I, I just, you know, I wish like we can be this, as this, you know, like you move on, like, sigue lo consumiendo, and also give me feedback. Like, let me know, like, hey, wait, te pasaste de, you know, de reata, or you know, you were too loud, or you were, because I'm a narciss narcissistic person, <laughs> and a lot of the times I, I always hold the conversations about me, and I like I try not to, so. You know, the main way you were a little too narcissistic this time. Yeah, like right now you're talking about yourself. Yeah. For example, to be about me. For example, that's <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. I think we provided a good balance, if anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Of course, man. I'm. This is not like my. I'm gonna like leave and and not ever look at this. I'm. I'm. I'm here. I'm gonna continue to support otra por favor through my viewership and through my feedback. Like. This is a this is a forever partnership, whether I'm here or not, Richie. So absolutely, mm -hmm. and and same goes to you, Michelle. Like I know you got a big uh, big conference coming up, a big networking opportunity. So best vibes to you. I I, I can't wait to hear the good news or the good the good opportunities you bring back from that. Yeah, for sure. Stay tuned. Antes de todo, pasamos otra chévere, no? Abrele. Pero todos, you know. <laughs> No, ya estoy bien, gracias. Okay.
I appreciate you. Which do you want this uh, IPA? I'll take the, the 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 pink one. The pink one. Oh yeah. The uh, Inter Inter Miami one. Uh, but and you know this is like a way to like some people would think goodbyes are sad. But actually, it's a. Uh, I'm horrible you know, at goodbyes, man. I'm I'm, I'm really the worst. I don't I don't I, know how to. I almost, I'm awkward when I. I didn't know, you know if there was a way that I, I throw could, jokes that I could just like. <laughs> Leave and, and just be like, oh, well, Coco left this letter. He wanted me to read. <laughs> yeah, I'll be um, fucked up. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> fuck right, Richie. <laughs> fuck Wolf. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. You're cool. Like, God yeah. damn. And then the list keeps on going. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then um, also, I know this is like a surprise one, but when this episode drops, it's going to be... Um, after the second year of Otra Por Favor. Ooh, so, Otra Por Favor. Two years going. Um, good shit's going to happen. Um, it's not because Jorge's leaving. It's just because, you know, we're trying to get stuff done. But we're, we're, gonna, we're into some good stuff, I would say. Um, we confirmed some, some, you know, some people already said yes. We're just waiting on the tours to finish or, you know... Um, when you know locking on the exact date but uh some are actually not going to be in the studio they're probably going to be in a different city um wow but oh Drizzy's nice. coming wow no i'm just kidding i don't know if they'll let us borrow you know, if the things like you have to do you have to do through zoom and all that like no i want them here chileando con nosotros si no no when lo agarro de su Rolls Royce, lo decir, mira aquí hay un five-star hotel <laughs> le, le ponchamos las llantas <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Men, men hey, he does got that Rolls Royce, so. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Uh, unless, gotta get paid off. Uh, unless they let us borrow it. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> Tú eres rica de sabiduría. De amor. No, ya, de sabiduría. <laughs> ni de amor. <laughs> Why? I didn't think that was funny. Okay. It was funny. It was funny for me. Uh... And um, y'all don't know me. We should start uh, an episode, Buscando Amor para mi show. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Wow. No, 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 no. Damn. <laughs> don't worry about hey. me and my love life. <laughs> 12, 12 Corazones. That's a, that's, that's a, good, that's a good TV show. The, no, I'm okay. With, Michelle, what's your sign? What's your sign? Are you really asking? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's all throw our signs out there. Uh, I'm an Aries. I'm a very oh. independent woman. That, I that's why no I, that explains everything. Everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm I'm an Aquarius. I have no fucking idea what that means. No, either. Um, I'm, a, I'm a cancer. I think we're see you wait emotional. Cancer, right? Like cancer. Right? No, okay. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> anything that has to do with cancer, maybe I am. Maybe nah, I'm not. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> but I was supposed to be a Leo because I came in as a premature baby and yeah. all that. So that, <laughs> that 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 explains that everything. Explains I know. <laughs> Pero con eso cerramos otro episodio. Awesome. My farewell. I bow. I bow out. My respects to y'all. Salud, salud. Hey, salud. Solo por por mi show le doy respeto. For whenever you're bound, I would have like like. Esta. <laughs> Damn, bro. Se hey, cuida. some people never live eighth grade, huh? <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm sort of a like, like, like a humor of a you know five year old. That's what my wife tells me. No, for sure. And I'm, I'm like, maybe more four uh, and a half. I love your wife, pobrecita. <laughs> <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> He's like, I know, dude. <laughs> All right, se cuidan, se portan bien arriba la América. Chivas. Y... El rebaño sagrado. <risa> Adiós. Adiós. Ya me está mandando el mensaje en Macan. Hey. You all didn't right, talk right. about me. All right, all right. Well, you're not here. Oh.